Good evening, and thank you for joining us. All new tonight, the survivors of a lightning strike in Sebastian are sharing their experience. Earlier this afternoon, lightning struck a pole near 506 and West Avenue. Three people nearby were shocked by the strike and hospitalized. At Channel 5, Stephen Sarabia continues to track this story for us. He's in our studio with more. Stephen? The odds of you being struck by lightning in a year is roughly one in a million. The three shocked today say they're lucky to be alive. It happened in an instant. A little flash of light, and it, I want to say maybe in less, less than a second, we heard the thunder real ugly. Juan Garza and his cousin Robert Cavazos were helping to clear a field when lightning struck this pole. Both of them happened to be standing next to it at the time. Before they knew it, they were knocked to the ground. Uh, well, I felt like a rain, you know, like a little slight rain on my back, you know, that felt like cold water. The feeling of being struck still fresh on their mind. We just got a little taste of what were, what already happened. What struck them as odd was the fact that there wasn't any rain in the area while they were working. This one was interesting because the thunderstorm was just beginning to build. It was the very beginning stage of this storm. It started right over Sebastian and began to move away. And as it began to move away, that first lightning bolt formed. According to the National Weather Service, lightning kills an average of 47 people a year in the U.S. and injures hundreds more. Garza and Cavazos were released from the hospital several hours later. They say they were lucky to be alive. Hey, man, thank God that I'm all right. Thank yeah. God that my cousin's all right. Other than that, we could have lost our life, bro. Both say they will be taking it easy for a while. A third person was also struck by the lightning. Garza and Cavazos tell us that person is also at home resting. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 10.